This is NFL Week 18 Super Contest. Overall on the season, I am 46 and 39. Chris is 33, 35, and 2. Chris, I went 1 and 4 the last two weeks. My record had been stellar until the last two weeks. And I've gone 1 and 4 in back to back weeks here. So hopefully I can get off the schneid and, and, and get this thing fixed. You want to start us off with, uh, with the first of your five picks here? Uh, sure. I- I'm going to take the Pats minus the seven against the Dolphins. That's I just think we've got a coaching mismatch. I think we've got a talent mismatch. And uh, the defense for the Patriots have been pretty good about taking the ball away. And uh, two has been pretty good about giving the ball away. So uh, I'll-, I'll take that number. I have got the exact same one. So, uh, so I'll move on from there. My second one is... I've got the Jets to cover 17 against the Bills. This Jets team has fight left in it. And and, and while the Bills are really, really good and they are still fighting for a potential number one seed, the AFC East, etc., I do think the Jets are going to give them a ball game. I think 17 is just way, way too many damn points. Uh, I will take the Jets to cover that 17. So we uh, agree on this pick. That is my second pick as well. But I think you said something inaccurate. Uh, I, don't, I don't think there's any way on earth you can look at the resume of the, of the Bills and say they're really, really good. This is a team that when they play good, they're good. But, <laughs> but they are capable of losing to Jacksonville, which they did. Yes, and they were true. in an absolute dogfight for their life against Atlanta last week. Like, it, Josh, Josh Allen, when he's on, is one of the best quarterbacks in the league. When he's off, they're, they have no chance to win. Because he is so much of all they do in the offense. I, you're 100% right. And and Salah, of course, can find a way to get after him. Now, that Jets defense has not been great for the majority of the season. But, you know, if, if you had to put together a game plan to slow down uh, Josh Allen, like I, I, I would trust him to be able to do it. So you look at the, the total DVOA between these two teams. Uh, you've got Buffalo at number three overall, and you've got the Jets at number 26. So there's a, a chasm of difference. But uh, you remember that stat that I've talked to you about, variance? And it, basically, it's volatility on a team. Like, can you trust them from week to week? Uh, Buffalo is number 32. So they are all over the place. Some weeks they play exceptional. Yeah, that's, some that's weeks what they're I just off. Said. Yeah. So they're, they're way, they can, way They down. can either beat Kansas City or lose to Jacksonville. Yes. It is really strange. So, uh, so we're both rolling Jets plus seventeen. You, uh, you got a third pick here. I'm going to give you the football team. Okay. No, I've not done well this year betting with the football team. I'm laying seven points, but I think this Giants team has absolutely quit on Joe Judge. They, uh, they are pretty bad. Like they are pretty, pretty bad. His comments, his comments last week were. I would use the word ridiculous, but, but like, I, I don't understand how you stand at the podium with the season that you've had and have the, the gall to, to talk about how there are other players that left for free agency elsewhere that say they wish they wouldn't have taken the money and stayed with you. Like, I, I just, that, I'm an, I don't mean to get political here. It's very Trumpian of him, you know? Yeah. Like, it's, everything's great. Everything's good. It's somebody else's fault. People love it here. Like, there's no problems. Like, no, no, Joe, there's a lot of problems. And and before, I used to think maybe you weren't a part of all of it because I don't think that roster's very good, but... Mm, it, it sounds like he could be part, part of it. Of yeah, he could be a part of it. That's, that's interesting. All right, so football team covering seven uh, against the Giants. Okay. I am. Uh, I'm going to ride with the Bucks for my third pick. Tampa Bay at home, covering nine against the Panthers. Uh, we are in playoff mode at this point. I, they went on the road. They didn't look great last week. You know, I don't know what's going on with the Antonio Brown situation, etc. But uh, but the Panthers have not been great, obviously, and I don't expect them to suddenly show up and and be good enough to hang with the Bucks. This is this is playoff ready situation here. Bucks have still got a shot at the number one seed. So, or no, no, no. They do not. They lost to uh, Green Bay, didn't they? Da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, they, so it, they've got a shot at the number two seed overall, I guess you could say. Uh, I think that the Bucks are ready to get this ship rolling. 
and I, I think I think they're going to cover the nine here. I, I, this feels like it should be a two touchdown spread, but I I do like the Bucks to cover the nine. So what you got for number four? My, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, uh, you're I'm all good. To all those. <laughs> uh, my fourth pick, I'm going to go with the uh, Sea Chickens. Seahawks Very nice. plus seven against the Cardinals. Let me tell you something. Bill Simmons coined this phrase a couple of weeks back, and I think he's absolutely dead on. Kyler Murray is the new Mr. October. Look at his resume. Look at his record the last two Octobers. Now, the problem is the season goes through January. Today, <laughs> so he has blown balls in November and December and never really played in January in his life. This, this is a problem. Okay. This guy has not been good at all, at all, after October. He's really struggling. And you could say it's because of injuries. Well, guess what? That means the season is long. And if you can't play past the first eight games, then I don't know what to tell you. Like, that's how long the season is. Yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm with you. I'm with you absolutely on that. Uh, that's actually one of my picks. That was my I, – I had it down as my number five pick. But, yeah, I, I like the Seahawks plus seven at the Cardinals. I know that the Cardinals played well against the Cowboys last week, et cetera, but the Seahawks, you know, it, this could be the last run for Russell Wilson and Pete Carroll. We'll see. Who knows what's going to happen in the offseason. But I think, you know, they, they, like to, they like to ruin seasons as best they can. Uh, I don't know that they can win this ballgame. I, I think there's a shot that they could. So seven points definitely feels like it's just too many uh, because I think – I think the Seahawks will be able to score on that defense. I, I really do. My last pick on this, I had down San Francisco. I don't think I'm going to go with San Francisco. I think I'm going to go with the Chargers to cover two and a half against the Raiders. Um, we talked about it at the at the end of the the last segment. I just i I think that the Chargers are such a significantly better team. And the Raiders have some wins against uh, not not great teams, right? It's kind of kind of like what the Dolphins did. I'm not going to say it's smoke and mirrors because you you got to be able to win those games. Uh, but I think the Chargers are a step up in class. And you know, at Justin Herbert against uh, against Carr, I will take Herbert every time. So I, give me give me the Chargers to cover the two and a half here. Yeah, I, I'm I'm 100 percent with you. And once again, we, we see this not just the same. I wanted the 49ers as well. I can't trust Trey Lance. I just can't. So, yeah, I'll trust Herbert. Yeah, no, that makes sense. That makes sense. All right, so uh, so Chargers minus 2.5 for you on that one. So we've got, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four of the same gambling picks for the end of the season for our Super Contest picks. Not bad. Not bad. We'll see how that does for us. So who knows? 